I'm in Jamaica, traveling from Kingston to St. Elizabeth with no money. Depending on the kindness of strangers just to survive. No food, no transportation, and just to close on my back. I'm attempting one of my most difficult challenges yet. Will I give up, make it to St. Elizabeth, or be stranded along the way? One of the worst things a person can do is start a no money challenge on a hungry stomach. But that's exactly what I end up doing. Big miss. Now it turn out there's this bridge woman no. know that sell wraps and smoothies in halfway tree. But the problem is I don't know if he's there and I don't know if I'm willing to spend some of the food for free. Turn out I caught him at the right and I told him about my challenge here the man. <laughs> This is Central Smoothies and they have been around for over 7 years. And no doubt about it, the wraps and the smoothie them bad. When I met Central Smoothies, he was operating on the roof at Central Plaza. But now I'm relocated to Ellis May Road and I tear the wraps them. I want to say I eat that wrap chewing on one side of my mouth because the day before I pull out one of my back teeth, then no time that wrap was done. Grateful it was time to start the challenge. Alright, so although I'm gonna have no money, I have a plan, right? I'm gonna do what most people do on TikTok these days, you know? I'm gonna beg. But the way I make do this is people don't really like when you beg them, like large amounts of money, right? So my plan is to ask you for $20, $20. So I decided to swallow my pride and start begging in this pharmacy. You know, just asking the first person I'm gonna see. But my heart start beat fast and my start feel uneasy. But it nervous. I couldn't beg nobody. I just walk out at the pharmacy. And that's when I realized this was going to be harder than I thought. Oh my god. Half an hour later, I walk in a supermarket. And all the homies still nervous, I stomp the courage to ask the first person I'm see. First few minutes, I don't even know what I said. But the girl was just so cool. And that's how I got my first 100. We'll see how much more we can actually get. Now I know you must be asking yourself, Tan, oh, I know I'm subscribe. Yeah, man, may I wonder the same thing to hurry up and subscribe. The aim is 10,000 subscribers by the end of this no money challenge. $20, $30, can see. No, it's not me, it's my brother. <laughs> Thank you. After that, I got two more hundred dollars and two one dollar US. And things was going good. I was starting to feel like I was getting the hang of this little begging thing. Alright, so one of the techniques that I'm learning is that when people say you with money in your hand, they will be more willing to assist you because it looks like you're trying, you know what I mean? So make a hold this number on and give I don't know if it's taught me to talk to someone, but after that, everybody in my arc tell me no. And I was starting to get a little frustrated. I was talking to one of the staff members at the supermarket, trying my very best to block the thought of giving up out of my head. And I don't know, man, maybe it's because I did just start, but I think this was the lowest part of this challenge for me. I really felt like giving up. And then something unexpected happened. Staff member was talking to give me $500. You know, Sam, I couldn't talk. I was speechless. I couldn't believe it. Although I don't remember her name. If you're watching this, thank you so much. Big up the high low staff. You guys are amazing. I was now up $750 Jamaican dollars and $2 US. To go to St. Elizabeth, I would have need way more money. So I decided to try my luck at a different supermarket. When I see the size of the place, I instantly want to use the bathroom. I had to cycle myself for this one. Although there was more people I could have begged, it also mean more people would have been looking at me. Instantly my throat get dry and that's when I make a big mistake. This one mistake would have cut in at the small amount of money women had already make. All because I never look at what I was doing. You see a one litre bottle of water is for $130 the most in the supermarket. But me without looking just grabbed up a bottle of water. Only to get to the cashier to hear she say. For the life of me, I couldn't understand why this water was $300. Thankfully, the elder lady helped me out with a hundred, but still, I was so upset. Elder lady helped me out. So, I'm definitely going to start asking for money again. She After taking a, a sip of the golden water, I took a deep breath, make up my mind for ask as much people as I can. And man, was I blown away with the amount of people that gave. Oh, and most people gave me without even asking me why. From 50 to 100, eventually I was back up to $1,000. This moment, I was feeling good until this young Rastaman walked up. He was selling some stone necklaces and these stone necklaces, he said, had certain wealth and health benefits. When I tell him that I had no money and I was trying to get from Kingston to St. Elizabeth, man without blinking took one of the necklaces and he gave it to me for free. I was in disbelief. I had to call him back and ask him what was the benefits of the stone. And the man said for all kind of healing, whether spiritual are physical. Rastaman, big up yourself. I that is wild. 
by this time i had already spent three and a half hours in the supermarket and although i was up a thousand and fifty dollars my battery was running low i was starting to get hungry and when i came out of the supermarket i started to have doubts about going to saint elizabeth because the time it's was around probably six o'clock now I needed to get food but I really never want to touch a little money when we did half for St. to Elizabeth. My first thought was if I beg a little bit more money, I could use that to buy food and then with a food belly, figure out a place I could have sleep for free tonight and then go St. to Elizabeth early in the morning. I was... I couldn't get anybody to give me a dollar while on the road. While crossing the road, I see a place that piqued my interest. So I decided to check it out. It turned out the name of the place was So Cuisine. Owned and operated by these two young ladies. As luck would have it, one of the owners recognized me. And after showing me around the place, I can't believe that them offered me some food. Them did only know how them save a life. Got jerk chicken and curry goat. And I don't normally like curry goat, but no lie, this was one of the nicest curry goat me ever so eat. I just brought some more food by the owner of So Cuisine. I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna be full. That's gonna be it for me for the night. If you're ever in Arbitry, make sure you check out Soul Cuisine. Although I wasn't gonna eat nothing else for the night, I had to get something for when I was on the road. I dipped in the thousand dollars and I bought a swirls. That was for like strange enough. And by this time, the place was pitch dark. I had no idea where I was going to sleep. I'm starting to get a little concerned. After so walking around a little bit, I saw a man selling one of my favorite fruits, Governor Plum. And while talking to him, the idea just hit me. I know exactly where Moda sleep. Quickly jumping out 150 dollar taxi heading to Windward Road. And I don't know if the driver wife did a cheat on him. The man did a press guess like him that tried to catch her at the yard to find out. My heart didn't have my throat. It's a good thing I wasn't going too far. I couldn't wait to come out. Who I was out of that bullet train? Found myself at the AC Hotel. First thing we do was watch my face. I don't know what I was going to do. All I know, a lot of people come to this hotel on a Friday just to hang out. The plan was to find a place where people hardly walk in at the hotel, catching at the corner and just stay there until daylight. I thought it was a poolside, but it didn't look more difficult than we did think. There was a photo shoot happening right by the poolside. Nervous to sit down, unsure how the night would unfold. I was extremely tired. I don't know when I drop asleep. All I know, I feel a jerk. I'm here, somebody say, Hoi! 